Here's a question I get from business owners all the time. Should you respond to old reviews? AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI, generative AI, 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 uses AI, bring AI, 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 What we're doing, this is what we're doing now. While your favorite guru is telling you to reply to Karen's review from three and a half years ago, Google just replaced the entire fucking search algorithm. We're living through the biggest shift in the history of local search. I'm not going to sit here and just tell you that oh, local SEO is dead. I'm going to prove it to you. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a free stress test or chain of prompts along with very specific setting. You can run this on any AI model, chat, GPT, Gemini, Claude, perplexity, doesn't matter. But it will force the AI to stop being polite and tell you the truth. 100% honest. 90% of you are going to fail this test. When you run it, the AI is going to tell you that your business does not exist. But stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how to pass it. If you're looking at a map grid like this, you're flying completely blind. I learned this the hard way. Last year, I went 100% shifted my agency into a lead generation model. Fast forward three months, leads had almost dried up to nothing. But our grids were as green as a leprechaun's ass. Almost over 200 different locations, almost zero calls. I was baffled. I was desperate, so I hired a ex-Google engineer. I don't think I'm allowed to say this, but he's on, Go he's on YouTube. Paid him a thousand dollars for a 15 minute zoom. I wanted him to take a look at my data. Pull out my grids. I'm expecting him to be as baffled as I am, maybe even a little impressed. And he ends up, he laughs in my fucking face. <laughs> he said, You are optimizing a version of Google that no longer exists anymore. Those grids are showing you what a bot sees and not a human. I stopped guessing. I stopped listening to gurus on Twitter or Facebook. I stopped looking at the forms. I went to the United States Patent and Trademark Office because while everyone else is arguing about ranking factors or keyword density or this or that, Google has quietly been filing legal paperwork to dismantle the entire industry. This isn't a theory. This isn't a prediction. This is U.S. Patent 2024 0256 582A1. And if you read between the lines of this doc, it tells you exactly when, how, and why the mobile local pack is dead. Today, we're going to do a forensic audit on Google's own blueprints. I'm going to show you why 99% of local businesses are building their house on a landmine. For 15 years, the game was simple. You pick a keyword, you build a page, you optimize a listing, maybe some CTR, you pray a little bit. This is the hamster wheel. This patent outlines a new machine, a machine that doesn't rank websites. It reads them, it verifies them, and it replaces them. Let's zoom in. This patent describes a system that uses generative AI, create summaries from a verified document. Notice that word verified? It doesn't say optimized. It doesn't say popular. It says verified. The patent explicitly details a system where the AI looks at your data, your hours, your pricing, your inventory, and decides if it trusts you enough to generate an answer. And here's the kicker. The patent mentions implied search queries. This is the smoking gun right here. You guys see this? Implied search query based on the user's activity within a persistent chat channel or within the electronic document. Implied search query is the smoking gun. An implied query means the user didn't even ask. The AI predicted that they needed it. It's 6 p.m. You're in Chicago. You like Italian food. Your calendar is open. The AI doesn't show you a list of 10 Italian restaurants. It shows you one. It The one it verified, it can serve you. Pat and I just showed you was the brain. This is the language it speaks. The title, Predicting Latent Structured Intents from Shopping Queries. Sounds boring, right? This is the most terrifying document I have ever read. Let's just think of a search term. Uh, pizza near me is a keyword, right? <clears throat> Keywords are dead. This proves Google is converting keywords into structured attributes. They don't care that you rank for best pizza. They care about your attributes. They care. Do you have indoor seating? Do you accept Apple Pay? Are you gluten-free crust? Are you open till 2 a.m.? The AI agent doesn't read English. It reads data. If your business is optimized for words, keywords, but your data, your attribute is empty, you are invisible. You are speaking French to a machine that speaks binary. This patent describes a janitor program. Yes, they literally call it the janitor. This is how they are going to kill you in lead generation 
in more ways than one. The janitor's job is to look for all the conflicting data about your business on the web and merge it into one single truth. If your Facebook says you close at 5 p.m. but your website says 6, the janitor flags you as unverified. And remember, oh, Exhibit A on the verified documents gets you into the AI summary. Guys, do you see the trap? While you're trying to rank for back with some shitty automated backlink tool like Neo or something, meanwhile, Google's janitor is checking your data consistency across 50 platforms, finding a mismatch and throwing your entire business into the trash before an AI agent even looks. And if you just thought those patents were just something that sits in a drawer, look at this. This is from Google's research team, React. Literally taught the AI to stop thinking and to start acting. They built the logic that allows the AIs to weave into the chat box, go to your website, read your inventory, and make a decision. If your website isn't built for reading or isn't built for APIs or is not built for a data pipeline, you lose. I want to show you the exact moment that most businesses die in the age of AI. And we're going to do it using a setting that 99% of you probably have never touched. Okay. And that is the temperature control or the temperature slider. In plain English, this controls how much the AI is allowed to be creative or loosen. Now, if you scroll through here, it'll give you the prompt. What I want to tell you is at temperature one, 1 1.0, the AI is a storyteller. It's creative. It takes risks. It asks at the bar after three drinks. It's confident. It's charming. And it'll lie to your face to keep the conversation going. At temperature 0, 0.0, the party's over. The AI is a forensic accountant. It's deterministic. It's not allowed to guess. And if you if it doesn't see the receipt, the transaction didn't happen. Here's why this matters. If you use ChatGPT, Gemini, or whatever to write a blog post, and you're using temperature 1.0, you want it to be creative. But when Google Jarvis tries to book a flight or buy a pair of shoes or book a plumber or a roofer or whatever, it runs at temperature 0.0. .0. You paste this prompt about the local business and let you run the stress test. At first, you run it at temperature 1, the creative setting. Now, you aggressively drag the slider down to 0.0. .0. This means the AI is only allowed fat. When you hit submit, the AI writes, I cannot provide the specific you know, whatever for your business. That's the kill shot. At temperature zero, your business disappeared in this scenario. The AI went from helpful assistant to, I don't know who you fucking are. This is the difference between text and data. If your website is just text, the AI has to guess. And agents are not allowed to guess with people's money. We need to build the infrastructure so that even at temperature zero, the answer is always yes. This is made for 2026. The map pack on mobile is not going to be three businesses, two businesses. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a transaction layer. It's going to be one business Google trusts enough and can verify to send you business. It's already here. I did not show you this to scare you. I showed you this because there's a massive opportunity for the people who get it. While everyone else is fighting for rankings and they're showing off their fucking green grids, that don't mean shit. We're building infrastructure. We are building the data feeds the AI craves. We are building the voice agents that answers the phone when the AI calls. And we are building the transaction layers that allow the AI to book directly. I'm launching a live masterclass, the Ingentic SEO protocol. We're not talking about theory. We're not. We are going to build the infrastructure that aligns with these patents. We are going to make your business Google ready for 2026. And for the cost of a cheap dinner, you will get the live masterclass for $47. And you will get access to the infrastructure. The blueprints are public. The clock is ticking. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with the United States Patent Office. Links in the description. I'll see you in the Discord. Pimp out.